right, so now that we have the drag over event, we want to add a few more events to our system before we continue. Now let's jump into the event table right here again. I also want to know when I'm leaving, right? So the idea is pretty much when I'm dragging over, I want to kind of show that you can now drop. And when I'm leaving, I want to kind of show now you cannot drop anymore, at least on my image, right? So let's just try and add the drag over as well. Uh, sorry, drag leave as well. So I'm just going to copy this host listener right here. And I'm just going to add it right below. And it's going to be called uh, drag leave instead of drag over. And on drag leave down here is the function. Now these names, they're really up to you. The ones down here, I just want to pick this because that's kind of the name of the actual function on drag leave right here. But notice I'm only using drag leave as the actual name here when I'm when I'm getting the actual function from the host listener. Just that's just something to note. So again, let's just do an over right here and let's do a leave right here. Now the final one that I kind of want is. Um, the drop event down here, so let's add that as well since we're in here anyway So I'll just add another host listener and that'll be the drop event now I kind of have so I can leave I can drop I can drag over and I have all the events that I kind of need for my drop listener right here or my um, File drop tool file upload tool. So let's just add here drop events like this now We have all the events available. Let's try and use them and see if they work So step one is to kind of drag my image right here onto the image. Is it entering? Yeah. Is it leaving? Yeah. If I drop it, is it happy? Eh, no. It shows the image and it pretty much just goes to the path of my image. That's not quite what I wanted. I wanted to kind of get the event. Now what's the problem right here? Now the problem is that default, there's a lot of default events going on inside a browser like this. So it kind of expects that when I'm kind of dragging over something, it doesn't care right now. It'll just when I drop this, it's going to say the default event when you drop something on a page like this is to show the actual image that you just dropped. So we're going to try and prevent all the default events for all our different event listeners, right? Let's jump into the code again. That's very simple. What I need to do is pretty much just say the event that I'm getting back, start out by just dropping any default. So we can say prevent default like this. That pretty much just means that I'm in full, full control now. I don't want the event or the browser to do anything unless I tell it to do it. So I'll do the same for all the three functions right here. Let's just try and see if it still works. Back to the code. I'm going to just refresh the page just to be absolutely sure that it just uploaded my, um, that it's using my directives now. So I'm going to drag this guy and I'm going to try and drop him. And there you see, we got a drop event. Now the drop event is still just an event like this with a lot of information and it has some transfer data and stuff like that. We'll get back to that later. But notice that was how simple it was. Now, just by preventing all the default actions, it's actually running right now. So see you uh, in the next lesson where we'll actually have even more fun with this. Bye-bye.